In this example, I'm going to show you how to use a quadratic equation in order to solve the following examples. And this is typical of an exam question that would feature on a paper. An actual fact, the functions and the information that we have here are coming from a 2017 exam, summer exam paper. So just briefly, what we're going to be presented with here is a demand function p equals 50 minus 5x and x in this case is quantity and p is price. We're also given an, some information regarding the costs of this company and they are broken, broken down into three costs. Fixed costs of 40 euro, variable costs of 7 euro and special costs of 1 euro. And with that information we have to answer a number of questions and the first one I'm going to deal with here is the one in which you need to derive the company's total profit function. So it's important to know the relationship between the demand function and total costs in order to achieve the derivation of a total profit function. So firstly what you need to know is the formula or the relationship for profit or total profit. That's equal to total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue remember is your sales and within that formula we again need to know what total revenue is because in the exam question there total revenue was not given to you. Um, knowing the total revenue formula price by quantity will help us achieve the derivation of the total profit function. In the question we were given also number of costs and this is your formula for your total cost function fixed variable and special costs. Another relationship you need to know is your total revenue and that's price by quantity. The dot there symbolizes a multiplication so price multiplied by quantity and we were told also in the question that your price is represented by p which was given in your demand function and quantity is equal to x. We typically would call it q but because we're dealing with quadratic equations we are going to refer to quantity as x. This is just a reminder that your demand function is p equals 50 minus 5x and that just suggests if you recall in your microeconomics your demand curve in which price is a function of x or price depends on x or quantity. So your price is equal to 50 minus 5x is your demand function and wherever you have p in your total revenue formula if you see up here you have price by quantity then you should replace price with 50 minus 5x okay so that's just, just in simple terms p by x so your total revenue is 50 minus 5x multiply by x and that will finally give us our revenue function 50x minus 5x squared which you might recognize as a quadratic equation with the x squared. You weren't asked to solve this or derive this in the question. You were asked to derive the total profit function but in order to get to the total profit function we first have to get your total revenue function. So just remember total revenue is price by quantity p by x wherever you have a p replace it with what's given in your demand function in this case p is 50 minus 5x so you multiply that again by your quantity x which will give us this total revenue function. Now on to getting our total cost. Again, you need to know this relationship. It's not this, These formulas are not given to you in the exam. So know your total profit formula, your total revenue formula, and your total cost formula. So your fixed plus variable plus special costs. Again, just to recap on what you would have done in economics, fixed costs are not affected by the amount of output. So you will not have anything, any x variable multiplied by that value that you're given in the um, in the question. So fixed cost is 40, it remains at 40. Variable cost however changes due to the amount of output or the amount of quantity that we produce. Therefore the variable cost that we have of 7 will be known as 7 times x or 7x. Special cost is a little unique, they rarely occur and therefore we may give them a, a, a that this is what kind of makes this up to be a quadratic equation and special cost if you recall was a figure of one again these figures were given to you in the question if you want to look back pause the video and look back at the beginning 
we will now complete the total cost function as 40, your fixed, plus 7x, your variable, and your x squared, your special costs. Now we're ready to put those together into your total profit equation. And just to recap again, total profit is revenue minus costs. We write out your revenue function, 50x minus 5x squared. We're going to call profit, by the way, pi. So 50x minus 5x squared is revenue minus all of total cost. You need to multiply every individual figure there by that minus sign. So therefore, expanding out that equation, we have that done, minus 40 minus 7x minus x squared, and we add like with like, and we complete the equation, and here we have our derived total profit function. 43x minus 6x squared minus 40.